Um, I, was, I was talking on like EOE chat, and obviously there's like two million coins on the EOE yep. chat. And one Sephiroth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, let's get into the match. So we are going yeah. to PS2. Um, I'm going to go and help people set up melee. I will probably be back soon though. So <laughs> oh, sure. Good luck uh, solo casting for a little bit. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, and Joel off to a relatively good start. Got 47% on that cow pole. Okay, we had the, we're, like, <coughs> we're at the early stages of the game, just both players just figuring each other out. Oh, we're trying to get something going with that ambitious down there. Not quite going to hit though. Alright. Joel again in control, just having good stage control, just like staying in the center of the stage. Even with that massive sword, Joel's making a really good job of like making it difficult for um, for Cowpole to like get in and get anything going. But all that back air, okay, Cowpole taking the first stop. You know, actually, come to think of it, like Sephiroth is kind of a character who likes the corner, right? Because you know he's so safe on the ledge, and um, he can always pressure with that massive sword. So being in the corner, you know, generally would be a bad thing, but with this character specifically, maybe not so much. Okay, that is going to kill though, yeah. Sephiroth, one of the lightest characters in the game. That side B, like low-key a DLC move. I'll say it every time I see it. It's just such a good move. Um, one of the defining moves for Corrin, like, side B... Um, Forward air, like up air as well, it's just insane. Okay, I wonder if Kapol could have maybe try and like go for another counter there. Um, because Joel didn't really have any more options left. Okay, and all the out smash, okay. Okay, Joel finally getting something going. Okay, going for the pin. <laughs> Ultimate in a nutshell, just a uh, dash dancing while the other person shields. Love to see it. Okay, and now Kalpol, like, definitely in the driver's seat right now. Just needs to take this stock somehow. But how do you do this when you're settled? Because you don't have any setups left. Okay, yeah, a very close game actually. In Cowboy's favor, despite that such shocking set entry. Ooh, Ooh never oh mind no. what I just said. Dude, you come on here, you say <laughs> one thing, and the whole momentum just changes like that. That's the strongest commentator's curse known to man. Okay, but yeah. Um, let's see if Kalpol can oh, get okay. mode, but that's not going to Yeah, Kalpol, Kalpol does use that quite a bit. Uh, he uses it quite a bit against me, but that's probably just because focus. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Using a counter like that, it's obviously a lot safer than other counters, but up mm. against a shield, it's not what you want to be doing. No, no, you, you, don't, you generally don't want to counter against Ooh. a shield. Oh, that four tilt. Yeah. You know, that four tilt is so good. I always forget about that move Honestly, until it's probably like it. It's probably the best four tilt. Like, it's it's got to be up there for there? sure. Yeah. I don't know what, what the contenders that? there are. Um, you have to think about that one, but... Yeah, and that neutral B at ledge as well is really a beast because you rarely ever see a Sephiroth actually do it, right? They almost yeah. always shield and cancel and whatever. But that means that when they do, oh, you're just yeah. going to be jumping and it's just going to appear. And you have to deal with it on the spot like that. You know what that reminds me of, actually? You know, like, when you're watching MK Leo and he does the neutral B with Byleth and you're like, <laughs> he's not going to hit that. Yeah, and then and he then never does it, and then one time he just... Yeah, <laughs> and, <it laughs> and then he actually does it. Yeah, like a full charge, 50% murders them. Okay, and oh. um, Joel actually yeah, bringing this back, just oh. going to do a little bit more damage. Very unfortunate angle there. Yep, and... I mean, did I say Joel bringing it back? Uh, no, Cal Cal bringing it Cal back, bring back yeah. And Joel was in the lead, but... And obviously, oh, oh. one good mm. conversion yeah, of these. Through, yeah, that's up up through kills, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say it. I was like, oh, does up throw kill here? Yeah, yeah. And up throw kills in a lot of places. I wasn't going to kill at 150, but then again, Sephiroth is light as hell. Oh, it's so light, man. Light yeah. is... Um, 
light is Kirby, I believe, right? I think it's um. I didn't know it was light. Oh no, light is. Uh, I know it says light is Olimar. I, actually, no. I I think it is Kirby because uh. I think it so. It was Kirby or Puff, but I think Puff's light are too light. No, you know? Puff's light. Yeah, Puff's yeah, lighter, I yeah. think. I think it's like One um. Of the pink balls. <laughs> Like Sephiroth, Kirby, Pikachu, Olimar, are like the same kind of weight. Yeah. I think it's 80. For some arbitrary 80 weight points or whatever. reason. <laughs> Sephiroth is light. Which, uh, I mean, I, I think for balance design, it was supposed to be uh, make him, you know, more balanced. But uh, I feel like he could have been fine as a normal, a normal sort of weight, you know? Yeah, he's not you know. Too, yeah, he's not too broken. Mm. Especially for a Fighters Pass 2 character. Probably the worst Fighters Pass 2 character. <laughs> Um, good point. Let me think. Yeah. What it's him or Sora, so... Yeah, and yeah, actually. I am afraid to say that Sora's bad when Azalea's in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good point. Um, God, and, and Sora's still got a way to go as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, like, Sephiroth is also another character who, whose meta hasn't really been, you know, advanced that much. Yeah, because just... Why pick him when you've got you got Casio, you got Steve, you got you got everyone else, you know? Oh there it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't not quite doing much, but you know what it can do if it does hurt. Okay, and Joel with the slight lead here. Yeah, both playing a very neutral game. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of pokes that Calpol com comes out with, just a lot of uh, quick little jab. Get away, be safe. Uh, things, you know? Which Joel is really going to have to deal with here. Uh, but uh, obviously, Joel's optimal angle is that sort of 45, which is great for coming in. Uh, hard to land on uh, Sephiroth there, which is, which is great for coming in and beats Sephiroth. But obviously, <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, I, I really can't be talking. There's too many kills happening here. Yeah, Kalfal getting a kill. Joel getting a kill also with that pin. Yeah. Um, and Cavill seemed to be quite stuck on the edge here. And the thing is, for, for Sephiroth, he has a lot of ledge stalling sort of techniques. But against Joel, that is instantly mitigated because one pin and he's gone. Yeah, it's a dangerous... Oh, oh my gosh. My. No, no, no. Wow. Joel is able to find air. those bears anywhere. Yeah, the coin main nose. Ooh. Okay, nice up smash. We're going to need to see some more, though. Get this stock out somehow. Oh, okay. Coming around with it. Okay, Ooh. I've noticed that um, Kalpo really loves to like dash dance. <laughs> yeah, a true um, melee player. Yeah, um, apparently he has been playing melee Luigi on Slippy for the past week. Oh really? So oh, that'd explain <laughs> it. That'd explain <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, there's a good chance he's got a lot of those habits. Fortunately, he won't be trying to hit any misfires, but. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's hope so. Just goes for side B. <laughs> Starts slapping off stage, hoping something will happen. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's that is not going to happen. That no. is a full second of end lag, that move, actually. Yeah. So there is not much that you can do if you whiff it. Yeah, it's definitely a Hail Mary kind of move. Does a lot of damage, yeah. but not really worth it. No, nah, not most of the time, anyway. Um, the um, the uncharged version is actually pretty good for that, though, because normally you aren't like as, excuse me, like as punishable, yeah, even if you so do fast. miss it. Um, and it does like decent-ish damage yeah, for I, I, I what the move is. I think it's not much, but obviously it's just a quick poke, just to move your opponent around and move you around too. Yeah. Okay. We are even Stevens right now. Yeah. Two two very close players, despite what the set history will tell you. It's not you know, going down with maybe, that fight. Maybe maybe they were all close games. Maybe. Three zero, but it was three zero, but close. <laughs> How, how how large does a, does a set have to be in terms of games where you can definitively never say that it was close? Like it's impossible to say it. Um, you mean like how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how many games? Because like a two zero, I feel like it's reasonable. You could have okay. just lost. Oh, are you saying are you saying yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. five over close? Okay, something's yeah, happening. Like okay, that, I see. That wasn't. Yeah, you know, well, like how big does it have to be? Yeah, I mean. To be fair, like like three O's a bit already. Yeah. You know? Oh, I think. My. Oh no, that that was that up there. Wow, that's sneaking it in there. That. Yeah. Wow. No. Two O, but has been close so far. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That dude, Corin up there, so strong, man. <laughs> Corin, so it's strong. So man. strong. She should be nerfed. 
kills it like a hundred when the when you have a player's like high up. Yeah, and especially on Sephiroth, that thing will kill yeah. even earlier. Right, oh, are we changing stage? Ooh, We're going to Cal town. Okay, okay. Kalpo not liking dying to the yeah, upper. Yeah, and also this stage is going to be very good for Kalpo because Sephiroth prefers to kill off the edge, and Kalpo's style is really stay away, big sword, couple snaps. You know, yeah, the type absolutely. of thing that he wants a lot of space to be able to work with, and that is what this stage will give him, as well as, obviously, those side and top bar sides. <laughs> yeah, although you do have to be careful because, you know, um, Corrin also has some moves in their arsenal, like, Pin, back air, very good move for killing like horizontally. Yeah, yeah. And this stage, if I remember correctly, it has like, um, does it have like narrower blast zones than most of I the? I believe I so. Think so. Yeah, yeah. Which is why uh, both will be going for those earlier kills off the edge. But those top kills are not going to be happening. As Mo, wow. Yeah, definitely going for an earlier kill with that uh, forward smash. Failed read though. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, coming on. Just, just one hit of that neutral B is enough to turn the tide of a game. Okay, and it's now. Oh, yeah, this is back air territory. Ooh, oh, back -air. Oh. almost making it mark yeah, Kalpo. Joel, Joel knows how to Dodging. land that thing, but Kalpo was smart enough to stay down. Oh, yeah, just constant kill moves coming Oof. up for the both of them. And Kalpo knowing that he, he has wings. So he's buffed here, he's got that extra jump, he's got that hyper armor, he's got. Just in, just strength and launch, I'm pretty sure it's buffed as well. So <laughs> yeah, this is a really good position for Kalpo right now. Gonna make the most of it though. Just gotta make sure you you, you don't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the thing with Sephiroth. Yeah, yeah, it's just one hit and you're dead, but one hit and they're dead too. Unfortunately, he does steal the wing though. Uh, bit annoying, but you know, he now plays normal Sephiroth, but he dies in one hit. Yeah, I, I like that up smash a lot actually because like, Kalpo has been doing all of this dash dancing like, all the time, but you can't really tell what he's going to do after he finishes the um, dash dancing. So Joel like jumped up, probably expecting, I don't know, Ooh. maybe like a um, maybe like a forward tilt or you know some kind of option yeah. or, or an aerial, but swinging out with the up smash. And also the up smash, I believe the risk reward was very heavily in his favor because with the armor. There's not much that Joel could have actually done, except for maybe like fastball shield. But I think with his positioning, he couldn't have even done that. So he should have just avoided it, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I think the best Joel go. could have got was probably a, a grab, maybe, and he wouldn't have died maybe, from it. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, oh nice counter! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, Cowboy taking a nice lead there, but then the game quickly getting sent straight back to even, and either of them could could take this one. They're very close players in a very close position. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Kalpo's got to be feeling that now, but you know what? Got to shake it off. Yeah. And He's still got stock to play with. Yeah, and obviously Kalpo needs this, right? He is down 2-0. If he doesn't get mm. this, that's it for his entire bracket run. Yeah. So uh, this would be the time to uh, pull out whatever you have. Yeah. Whatever you're cooking. Uh, well, he's going to have to, isn't he? Yeah, now's the time. Okay. Oh. What are we going to see? Oh, okay. nice counter. I like that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, counters the ball. And then also, if he gets swung at, even better. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to get hit. Clashing with the jab. I was not expecting that. Yeah, obviously, even after that unfortunate SD, Kalpol not doing too badly here. Uh, has a slight lead in percentage. Yeah, you know, he's... um. Despite that that unfortunate stock loss, he's oh, actually oh oh, oh that's oh. gotta be it. So yeah, that's yeah. the game. That's the game. Okay. Oh. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, he was. Um, I think he was like just you know, uh, like winning neutral, yeah, pretty much yeah, throughout those stocks main. anyway. And then obviously winning neutral. Uh, if he's got got the upper hand now on game three, and you know, oh. two more games isn't isn't that that difficult when you have. The neutral in, in in your basket, basically. Yeah. Although this is Joel we're talking about. Yeah, Joel surely got to find some kind of adaptions to make here. Um, again, not doing too bad yet. Despite what I said, it was like quite a close. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and hop on melee. Oh, okay. Uh, good luck solo commentating again. Sorry. Okay. Good luck with melee. <laughs> Thank you. Um, who are you playing? Uh, you. Oh, all right. Well, good luck. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? So yeah, um, despite 
It's quite what they're saying about, about um, like Cal Pol, you know, winning most of the neutral lane interactions for that game. Um, Joel by no means doing badly. And you can see now, it's got that set off at 86%. Cal Pol has to find a way to get in, but it's hard when you have like aerials that are so slow. Oh, and that is just going to sneak under Cal Pol's feet and take it. This is a really good position for Joel. Because now it's up to Cowpole to make something happen. Not that I think Joel would try to like time him out, but um, just like the way this set has been going, like the momentum is in uh, Joel's favor right now. I'm really liking like Joel's like playing around Sephiroth's kind of space. Oh, nice counter, though. He's calling out that option, and yes, that's what I've been wanting to see. Dude, it's so good, and it's so free. Just getting that counter, that's going to be really important going forward. Because, yeah, like, what... There isn't much that, um, that Joel can really do about that counter, because that upbeat just has to have a hitbox. So if Kalpo can like position it correctly. Okay, countering the side B, but not uh, working this time. Oh, actually working out in his favor there. Okay, that counter, you know, that might have actually saved Kalpo. I wasn't sure he was going to make it back up. Oh, and dude. Talking about range, that forward smash right there. <laughs> and Carl uh, just putting himself into lag. Um, he's on his potentially tournament stock right now. Has to make it count right here, but how are you going to take two stocks off of Joel? Joel just not landing up at all. Yeah, Joel just playing around like Kalpo space really well. Because like every time, every time Kalpo wants to do a option, um, even with Sephiroth, it's like it's a little bit too far away. And that counter's still hitting even on the ground. Okay, and I don't know if that took Joel's jump or he, he just um, he just died there. But okay, and now Kalpo the one with momentum. But now, how are you going to get back to stage? Coming back, getting that forward air. Forward air check. Okay, I feel I feel like Kalpo just doesn't care about his percent. He's got to go in, got to make something happen. He's playing really well, actually. But now Joel getting something going. That down throw. Almost in up throw range. I don't want to say it too loud. But oh, and yeah, the up throw is going to do it. You know what? A good set. Good set. Um, definitely a competitive one for sure. But Joel going to add to that, that dominating record. And uh, is it me playing now? I think it's us two. I think, I think so. Yeah. All right.